Hey guys, so this is one of the last few makeup videos I'm going to make for a while because this channel is not about makeup, but it's the phase that I'm going through right now, so I'm sharing it with you. This is a full face of makeup. I was using the Mali um, four-piece workout. I made a video about it earlier. This is what it looks like seven hours later. Um, it's okay. If you guys want to take a closer look, this is what my skin looks like. I didn't sweat or do anything crazy. Seven hours later. So if you like the look, get the kit. I got the tan. I wasn't in love with it. Um, I'm probably gonna end up keeping it because I always do that anyway. But I would keep the foundation in the car. Um, I'm not too crazy about her blush. I mean, I like the blush, but I'm not too crazy about the contouring or the highlight I use the highlight as um eyeshadow and the contouring I'd probably use over here to make like a little smoky like blending it in together I do love the um eyeliner which is Ico and E-Y-E-K-O it's a London company but it's made in China so I'm just gonna use what I have and then I'm gonna have to find another brand that's made in like America or another country but I don't want products made from China at this point in my life um, not makeup anyway. I mean, like, I don't mind little plastic things or, like, um, you know, tchotchkes for the house and stuff like that, but not, not my makeup. Not after the documentary that I saw. Um, I'd rather, I'd rather not. <laughs> but, um, I'm using L'Oreal Micellar Cleansing Water. Uh, complete cleanser. I've never used micellar water before. I wanted to try it. I got like a three pack for $15, which I thought was a good deal considering that each bottle is like $7 everywhere else. Um, kind of soaking the pad in, which is what people say. Um, and I'm going to take my makeup off. Now, I know because I've tried this before uh, that there is residue that stays on your skin. So even though they say you don't have to rinse and that this is it, you don't need anything else, that's not true. There is residue, and you do need to wash your face if you want it all off. But I mean, this is great for um, basically just taking makeup off and um, going to bed when you're like really drunk. <laughs> Y'all, let's be real, right? <laughs> Who wants to do that? And I also got the Campanelli um, Fresh Face Makeup Eraser version of the um, cloth. And basically, you're supposed to be able to wipe your makeup off with water. But I think that's, like, really harsh. Like, I'm really particular with what I put on my skin. Like, I really love the um, Artistry Makeup Remover. I think it's perfect for your eyes. Like, this is okay. I'm very particular with what I put on my face and my eyes. Um, it's micellar water. It's okay. I do feel like there is a lot of residue on my skin. Mm. Right? That's the second swab. Let me try one more to see what it's going to come off. Um, but I think if you use the micellar water with the fresh face, um, cloth, because it was like a set of 12. For $35, which is crazy because each one is $5 each. Um, so it would be $60 for 12 And then they say that they sell them for like $10 or $15 each if you bought them, you know, separately. So six of them are the round ones that are supposed to be like another company that makes the round ones. And then six of them are the long fresh face sheets. It's on QVC right now if you want to get them. Um, but I figured, oh, you know, like if I like it, I can give them as gifts. Or I could open the gift box that it comes with and take the little round ones out and give the big ones um, out to friends and family. And then that way I'm left with six little round ones that I could use every day of the week, right? Once every day of the week. And then a couple, like one or two of the big round ones, of the big ones that I can use. And I can also take the little ones when I travel. But then I was like, wait a minute, if you're putting makeup on this thing, um, it's the third pass then how do you wash it without it getting on your clothes or your comforter? Or, I mean, obviously you're not going to wash it with your comforter, but your clothes or your towels and things like that. So you have to wash it separately, which is going to increase your water bill. 
third. It's the third, third pass. I just want to show you guys because like everyone's like, oh my god, my filler water took all my makeup off. No, it didn't. It didn't take all your makeup off. It didn't. Dum dum. You have to do it a couple of times. It looks like it took your makeup off, but there's always residue, which is why you use a Clarisonic. Mine is charging. Uh, but I don't like using the Clarisonic either, because like imagine ooh, on your face over and over. It's like rubbing your face over and over. That's not good for your skin. Um, I did do a full face of makeup today because I was trying that Mally thing. I'm not a big fan of wearing makeup every single day. I think your skin needs to breathe. It is an organ. Um, I also don't like rubbing to take this stuff off. I do like the Purity Made Simple face wash from Philosophy. Look at all that. It's still coming off. Uh, sorry. To clean. I don't know. It's always more. They're still coming off. That's the fourth cotton swab. Um... And this is Mally. Mally's like bulletproof. All her stuff is like waterproof and bulletproof uh, foundation. So it might just stay on longer than other ones. But I kind of wanted to debunk this micellar thing. Uh, also, what is micellar water? Okay. Well, there are things called surfactants, right? And surfactants are in shampoos and cleansers. And they have... Uh, Correct me because I might be wrong when I'm saying all of this. Uh, so this specific molecule has two ends, right? One end is lipophilic. Then the other end is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic attracts water and lipophilic attracts dirt. So the reason you use a cotton swab is because cotton swabs are hydrophilic. So that it attracts water. So there's water. So when you take that molecule and you put it in so if you take that molecule, right, you create it. It becomes, um, when you put them together, it becomes micelles. Micelles in soft water is micellar water, right? So it's the molecule that has a hydrophilic and a lipophilic end mixed with soft water is micellar water, right? So you take that and you put it on a cotton swab and the two hydrophilic uh, points attach to each other, which means that what's sticking out is a lipophilic end and that part actually is what attracts the dirt and takes it off your skin. Some people I've heard just keep stuff like they, they keep this on their eyes for a little while and then they rub so that there's no um, like tugging or pulling. But whenever you're taking off eye makeup, there's always tugging and pulling. There's some days where I just like keep the makeup on. I know people are like, don't sleep on makeup. I'm like, whatever. And then I, I naturally let it come off. But this is the fifth pass and I'm kind of over it because that's putting a lot. So I could have gotten away with just doing the first pass and then pretending that I didn't have any more makeup on and being like, oh my God, this is amazing, it works. But I don't like that. Let me just try one more time. This is the sixth pass, just so you guys can see how much residue is still left on the face. And I'm not pushing. Like I'm sure that if I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, I would get a lot of wrinkles and I'd probably get more makeup off, but I'm not gonna do that because the whole point is that you're not supposed to scrub. It's supposed to be cleansing and it's supposed to take off all of your makeup right that's the claim so that's how much I've used of this in two uses the first time I used it and now so figure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. let's say 12 12 times 2 is 24 more uses for five dollars so I got 28 maybe 30 uses out of a bottle if I have to go through this many, if I could go through less, I would. So what I would do is I would actually use this just to take the first round off. And then I'd probably use my Purity Made Simple for the second round. Uh, just to get everything taken off. Or I could use the um, Artistry Makeup Remover. Or I could use just the Campanelli thing. The Campanelli thing I think is still going to have residue. I just can't believe that you're going to take anything off, which is water. The Fresh Face Pads so that... There's far less residue now, but there's still residue on the skin. So, you know, a gimmick is a gimmick. You know, people always say, oh, you know, this is the new thing. Fads are fads. You know, the pet rock was a thing. 
you know, crystals are a thing now, it makes you wonder, but I kind of believe in them because I feel the energy and I feel the difference. Um, I do think they can alter your energy because they have some type of energy to them. Um, but I don't think that they're going to change your personality, mood, or bring you better luck, if that makes any sense. But I do think that they can help change your vibrational level because they're vibrating on a different level. Just like if you bathe with roses, you're going to increase your vibrational level because it's one of the highest vibrating items, um, or especially plant life, that's out there. It's one of them, not the, you know? So that's why rose oil is so expensive because it takes a lot of roses to make it, but it's also a very high vibrating product, which is why they use them in all of the expensive makeup lines. So there's something about vibration and frequency that go hand in hand. And then some of these crystals will help to increase your vibration depending on where you are in life. That's why you um, kind of are led to different crystals at different points in your life. It depends on what your frequency is and what you need to help elevate your frequency. Well, that is my review on the micellar water. At, is it okay? Yeah, it's an alternative to harsh chemicals. It's, it's a more cleaner way of removing your makeup. Um, I do think that you need a lot more than what they're claiming. I'm probably not going to wash my face right now because I don't want to, but I will put on moisturizer. They say you don't have to because they're like little oily um, molecules that hydrate your face. Like you can see I have like some hydration. It looks like little, you know, it looks nice. My skin looks nice. But if I wore makeup every single day, like a face, I wouldn't trust the micellar water. They're definitely better than makeup wipes because those things you're like tugging and pushing in. Um, but as you saw, I did it six times and there's still residue on there. So I think it's a good idea to use it um, once or twice to get the initial makeup off and then you can wash your face or use your Clarisonic if you want. Um, not often, I would use a Clarisonic sparingly because I do think that it, it will cause more wrinkles in the long run. But those are little options uh, when you're washing your face just to get everything off. I know this little piece keeps coming off. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helped a little bit. I'm gonna go put on my Privage right now um, or the Borghese vitamin C. I think I'm gonna do Borghese tonight. Uh, my favorite is the Cura C, which is like the vitamin C treatment for your skin. It's amazing. It's expensive. Buy the travel size on eBay. That's my trick, everybody. Um, all right, guys, love you. Bye.